So now we're going to talk about the difference between the words hardware and software and what each of them mean. Hardware is our first vocabulary word. Say it with me, hardware. Hardware means the physical parts of the computer that you can see or touch. Some examples of that are the wires or the screen on your computer. Software is our next vocabulary word. Say it with me, software. Software is a program that runs on the computer and controls how it works. Some examples are Microsoft Word or iTunes. So now, talking about the difference between that hardware and that software, we said that hardware, remember, are the things that you can touch, the things that you can see, the things that you experience on the computer. The software are things that you download onto it or things that are already installed in your computer that program and control how that computer works. So let's play a game to try and sort out the difference between the two of them. This game is called Hardware or Software well named, don't you think? So I'm going to show you a picture of something and we're going to talk about whether that is a piece of hardware or a piece of software. Our first one is Google Chrome. Hmm, think about it. Can you touch Google Chrome? You can see it. Is it something that's installed? Is it something that's already on that computer? Think about it now. Is that hardware or software? Well, if you said software, you are 100% correct. Google Chrome is an internet browser that is used as software and comes pre-installed on many of our computers, including Chromebooks. Here's our second one. Let's see if you can do this one. This is called a circuit board. A circuit board is a piece that is in a computer. So think, is that hardware? Is that something we can touch or see? Or is it software, something that's installed on our computer? Well, the answer is hardware. A circuit board is part of the hardware of a computer and it's something that you can take out or put back in if it's broken. And it's a piece that you'll need to buy if you ever decide to build your own computer. Our third example is a keyboard. Keyboard, hmm, is that hardware or is that software? Think to yourself what it might be. If you said hardware, you are correct. A keyboard is a piece of hardware that is an input device that is used to program computers. It's something we can touch, it's something we can see, it's something that we use as part of our hardware systems. And our last one is an example of a video game system or a computer game that's installed onto your computer. So think. Are video games, computer games, Minecraft for example, are they hardware or software? Well, computer games and video games are software. They're something that you install onto your computer. Sometimes they come preloaded, some games are on computers, but a lot of times you need a CD or need to purchase it online and install it. Since it's something that runs solely on your computer and it is a program that's written for it, it is a piece of software. I hope that little game helps clarify for you a little bit the difference between hardware and software, and now you'll know the two of those words as we go forward in our lessons.